So conference alignment, man, it's not going away. It's not going away. Let's talk about it. Hammer game. Cooper, four-man rush for Florida State. Going to cut it loose. Phil Yaw Johnson. Come. Hey, yo, it's your boy, the 12th man. Hey, like, share, and subscribe. All that. Games all day, baby. Let's go. Now, before we get into this video, guys, I want to ask you, as Miami Hurricane fans, yes, predominantly on this channel, we have Miami Hurricane fans. So, would you guys be opposed to taking trips to California, maybe two times a year, maybe one times a year, who knows? Or would you be opposed to Cal or Stanford coming to Miami, coming to the Hard Rock to play? Would you guys be opposed to making trips to California? Also, is SMU a big enough brand to come into the ACC? Now, there are some development with SMU. Um, according to them, they would love to join the ACC. In fact, they're so desperate to join that they would actually give up seven years of money. Seven years of money. Yes, millions and millions of dollars just to get the Power 5 status and be a part of a strong conference. Okay, so before we get into all of these discussions, guys, I need your help. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. That's it. That's it. So obviously, conference realignment ain't going nowhere. Oklahoma, Texas, to the SEC. Boom. Started it. Domino effect, baby. Now, you have the Big the Big Ten reaching out to USC and UCLA. Boom. Done. Next year, they will be a part of the Big Ten. Yes, um, traveling across the country. So I do ask if Miami fans are opposed to going to California because the teams in the Big Ten will be traveling to California. Oh, not just California. Washington and Oregon, they are also going to the Big Ten. So you see the Pac-12 basically dissolved. Um, not quite sure what's going to happen with the, the rest of the four teams in there. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Cal, Stanford are in the negotiation right now with the ACC to come on in and join. Now, what does this mean revenue-wise? Um, also, SMU, they'll come in. They won't affect revenue for seven years if they do um, accept them to come on in. SMU, um, as you guys know, Miami Hurricane fans, we are very, very familiar with them. Well, their staff, at least. Well, some of their players, at least. Yes, a lot of the Miami Hurricane players of past have transferred to SMU. Jalen Knighton running back you guys are well aware of him you know he joined them um also guys we have teams in cali teams in cali miami don't go to the west coast very often if so it's probably a bowl game probably a bowl game every now and then so would you fans be opposed to actually you know making a trip out to play stanford or making a trip out to play um cal those are the two california teams now Another thing to think about too, those games are, are long distance, <laughs> plain and simple. Um, have you guys ever tried a long distance relationship? Most of the time it don't work out. But anyways, um, would you guys be opposed to actually playing some of those games at a neutral site? Maybe meet somewhere in the middle. Let's just say the Dallas um, Cowboys Stadium, you know, or somewhere in between there. Who knows, you guys could throw throw out some um, neutral site um, possibilities down in the comment section. But would you guys be opposed to adding these teams? Now, with adding these teams, revenue and of course some renegotiations would happen. Um, SMU take them out of the picture for seven years. They will not get any of the money to share, basically. They are willing to give up money. <laughs> That's tough. Um, most of the ACC teams are actually looking to gain money. Um, you have teams like Florida State and Clemson actually threatening to leave the conference if negotiations aren't done and basically they get up to par with some of the um, top name brands in the SEC and the Big Ten in order to compete, um, basically, you know, renewing stadiums, renovations, um, NIL, one of the biggest topics of college football. So we're bringing in um, Cal and, um, you know, SMU and Stanford. I'm hearing numbers of around an extra 70 million. Now, this would be basically negotiated to distribute to the teams in the ACC. Um, approximately, probably would bring each team up to about six to seven million a year. Now, a lot of you guys are going to complain and say, hey, those that money, that the extra money would just go into travel and we probably still would come out in the same amount of range that we are now. Now, if you look at it from a strategic, strategic standpoint from ESPN, 
and the Brandon Wrights, they're probably going to try to bring in those teams to make sure that this conference stay at 15 because the Brandon Wrights, you know, could be affected if the ACC were to, let's say, drop below 15 teams. Um, they would not want that to happen. Um, if you're ESPN, you do not want to negotiate. Let's be honest. You do not want to um, give more money. Let's just say I'm your boss. If I could continue to have you working for me for um, all the way up to um, 36 without giving you an extra dime, why would I be, um, you know, incentivized to do so? So obviously they want to make sure that they protect that 15 team clause and that basically there's always 15 teams in this conference, a.k.a. if two teams were to leave, let's say a Clemson and a uh, Florida State, then bring in SMU, Cal, and, um, you know, Stanford would keep the, the 15 team minimum there at least i think right now the acc is at 14 teams let's just let's just subtract clemson and um florida state from the picture boom now we're down to 12. well boom bringing in these three teams will bring us right back to 15. and let's not forget sitting on the outside you know just football there's Notre dame so the acc pretty much would still be at the 15 team if they were to add these three teams and let's just say florida state and um Clemson was a depart would still be at 16 teams in all sports except for football. Football would be at 15. Oh man, man. Guys, would you be opposed to playing SMU? Is that a worthy game? Would you guys be willing to travel to Dallas? Would you guys be willing to um, go to the Hard Rock to watch SMU come on in and play the Miami Hurricanes? That's the question of the day. Um, what do you guys think of all this conference realignments? Is this a good move for the ACC? Is this a good move for Miami? Is this a good move for Clemson or Florida State? Let me know in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. T2Y, I'm out. Oh, oh, it's out the middle of the <laughs> 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 They got the legend Lamar over here taking pictures and um, signing autographs. That's what's up.